Carl's vision. Perhaps the most beautiful dive mooring on Bonaire. Tucked just behind a western point just north of Bopec, the Caribbean Sea calms down to gemstone blues and greens which lap up against the craggy cliffs at the base of a mountain. The man for whom it is named and why will surely shock you as his life was not unlike the storm clouds to the north. Drifting this is the story the of two divers who left the corporate world island. and moved to Bonaire There's to live a diver's life by the sea. Many only dream about this life. Our hope is to inspire you through our experiences and stories so that you can live the dream too. This is A Diver's Life. The water and sky, reflection in my eye, and it's true. So true that my life, that my life is a seashine. Is a seashine. Is a is a seashine. Is a seashine. Hey guys, this is Rich. Welcome back. We thought we'd start this episode from Odyssey and tell you this incredible story about a resistance hero from the Second World War who played an important role in the creation of the Bonaire Marine Park. Also, the dive site, Carl's Vision, was named after him. Um, we're actually going to take you there on a dive, and uh, it's really a very remote place that few people have ever gotten to. We're going to take you to the Carl's Vision dive site on Odyssey. It's a beautiful drive up, and we think you'll like it. It is a place that most of you have probably not seen because of its remoteness and uh, difficult to gain access to the site. Plus, uh, there are currents up there that can make uh, it a challenging dive. But back to the story here. Carl Steensma was a Dutch pilot that fought in many dogfights, often wounded, in his Fokker D-21 fighter. On May 12, 1940, he was forced to make an emergency landing, um, and, and the plane crashed. Uh, he was pulled from the wreckage and taken to a hospital. He looked around and he thought, well, you know, I'm not as injured as these other people, so I'm just going to leave. And he hopped out of his window and he went home. By 1941, Carl was part of the resistance, and he met with his wife, his pastor, and his son, and they made a decision that he would flee to England by boat. En route, he was captured by the Germans, and this is where the story becomes really interesting. But to tell you the rest of the story, we're going to head up and tell you it on our trip uh, to Carl's Vision on Odyssey. Leaving Harbor Village Marina, let's get on with the story. The resistance fighters were fired upon injured and later captured on the high seas. Carl ultimately ended up in Natzweiler concentration camp in 1944, where he was sentenced to die. His leg injuries became infected, and his leg was amputated without anesthesia by a fellow Belgian inmate surgeon. In the autumn of 1944, Steensma was transported to Dachau in a death wagon. Dachau was Germany's first concentration camp more dead than alive. In shabby clothes, he ended up on a pile of corpses and dumped in the yard in the freezing cold and with a high fever. Another prisoner gave him his overcoat, helping him to get through the night and survive, eventually returning to the Netherlands by bus. After the war, Steensma became Chief of Flight Service KLM and in 1956 Director of Southern America at KLM while living in Curaçao for four years. In 1964, he became chairman of the National Dachau Committee and became involved in the National Dachau Monument and later became the director of the NV Netherlands Congress in The Hague. While Carroll was a Dutch KLM executive on Curaçao, he was also friends with the Royal Highness Prince Bernard of the Netherlands. By chance, a scolding by the Bonaire legend Captain Don Stewart about taking a piece of coral in the 1960s resulted in their friendship and together they formed the Bonaire National Marine Park in 1979. 
Carl's Vision opened in 2005 in honor of Carl Steensma. Doreen attaches Odyssey to the mooring line. As we take in the beauty of this site, we thank Carl for a lifetime of sacrifices that led to the creation of Bonaire's Marine Park. Let's go diving. We drop down the wall and head toward the large coral structures near the point. A great barracuda comes in for a look. Doreen spots something in the coral. A juvenile spotted drum and a grazeman. We continue toward the point. Above, an orange sponge and the first large star coral appear. The coral structures here are beautiful and keep looking better since the last bleaching event. Farther down the wall, the current is humming along towards the south. This hawksbill is smart, tucked just behind this coral head. Lots of juvenile parrotfish can be found along the wall. A flamingo tongue sits attached to the split pore sea rod. We continue south. This large lionfish is tucked in the coral. It gives us a wary eye. The cheeks of this adorable smooth trunkfish puff away. This bicolored damselfish has made this flower coral home. Feather dusters are so delicate. We approach another boulder star coral. These rare pink creole wrasse dance before our lights. Just beautiful. Small fish seek safety under the large coral head. What are they?
Let's go higher and see what else there is to see. Yellow goatfish. Swimming in and out of these massive coral heads in the ambient light is dreamlike. Time to swim back to Odyssey. Stop to look at the small stuff. We stop and wonder to think of what Carl Steensma helped make possible at tremendous sacrifice. Seldom dove, these northern dive sites allow us to experience nature at its best. Out of a hole in the coral, this adorable juvenile trunkfish makes a surprise entrance. Peacock flounder are masters of camouflage. I played hide and seek with this queen angelfish. A brilliant stoplight parrotfish. Doreen has spotted something. It's squid. If you want a video squid, you have to turn off your lights. They just scatter. These guys really put on a show. Colors and patterns change constantly.
They dart in and out to take a look, but keep a safe distance. Just beautiful. Let's see what else is in the shallows. A jawfish. Giant anemone also come with pink tips. This one has a sun anemone shrimp. A spotted mori. A yellow frogfish. Wait! Are there two? Yes! A secretary blenny. A honeycomb cowfish. Branching fire coral. A large alcorn coral. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and hit the subscribe button and the bell. It goes a long way to supporting this channel and helps you to know when new content is released. Thank you for watching.